Hello, hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are y'all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this beautiful reading, I hope you all are staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all doing on this Monday night, March the 13th, 2023? I know, I know I had a lot to do this morning, uh, but I love you guys. How are y'all feeling, my beautiful Taurus? Okay, thank you so much for your beautiful, kind words. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. Now, I need y'all to listen, okay? Uh, you may hear my fan in the background in my uh, earpiece. Uh, let, like I tell y'all, let me be great. Let me be comfortable, okay? Uh, yeah, because I, <laughs> honey, I get hot, okay? Mm. Okay. Two new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. Let me scoot on up here. Leave the rest for someone else. I don't know your life, okay? So you got to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. All right? I love you guys. Uh, yeah. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in my readings, okay? So we're going to get started. Let's see how 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 is it going. Let's see how your energy is. It's feeling Taurus, okay? Spirit guys, this is for Taurus. As you give me clarity, understanding, most of all, I need your divine protection for Taurus. Oh, yes, for Taurus. So what I'm seeing here, okay, yeah. Okay, so Taurus, what I'm seeing, there are a lot of balances here. You're very powerful. You're attracting. Let me show you something. The, the, the card came out. I don't know how they came out, but uh, you have attraction, which is attract, okay? Let me make sure that. That's up. Okay. You have attraction. Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. Mm. You have balance. And you have powerful. Okay. Uh, which is uh, your um, affirmation cards, your motivation cards. It says, I attract abundance into my life each day from all directions in limitless ways. Okay. Your other one is balance. It says, I have countless opportunities each day to create balance, joy, freedom within my life. Okay. A lot of balance going on in your life and powerful. Okay. It says, I am powerful. Co I am a powerful co-creator who succeeds in all that I do each day. So you're definitely a very strong, powerful, magnetic type of person. You're attracting in ab abundance in all areas of your life. Okay. The bottom of the deck is relationships. So Ataris, uh, I'm glad that this come out because anytime I do a pre shuffle spirit guys, if he wants it back out, it's going to come out. Okay. So I feel as though that you're so much balanced now. I feel as though that a lot of you are on a new path, a new self discovery. Your, 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 you know, your whole mindset has changed on uh, the way it used to be when it comes down to relationships. Okay. It can be a connection. It can be family, friends, or whatever it is. You have learned to balance that. Um, in your pre shuffle, I seen where, and when it comes down to relationships, when it comes down to love is that the way you have changed your mindset is that your, your vibration, your energy is on a whole total different level. Okay. That's why you are only going to attract who you are and you are attracting a lot in your life because of where your frequency is at. You're very, very powerful. You're co-creating, you're manifesting a lot of good things and you're about to succeed. If you're not starting to succeed, you're going to succeed in this very, very strongly. So with the balance, with these opportunities that you're attracting in your life, Taurus, uh, you're, you, I mean, this is coming, this is coming to you from all directions. Okay. This abundance, this attraction, everywhere you look, you're going to be blessed. Everywhere you look, you're being blessed. Everywhere you look, something is coming into your step in your footstep that you're going to be blessed. Everything that you touch is going to be blessed. Okay. Because your balance is because your vibration, your energy level is where it's supposed to be in order for you to attract these things into your life. Now, when it comes down to relationships, I am surrounded by relationships of love, harmony, the word again, balance. Okay. Abundance, the word again, and much more. Okay. So you're attracting a lot of like-minded relationships. I feel like in the past you had, you struggled really hard on setting boundaries when you was with friends, these so-called families, friends, and relationships. 
that was the hardest thing for you to do was to set boundaries because you had to first learn how to love you. Okay. When I was pre shuffling your cards, there were the lover's card came out. There was two paths that you had to make a choice. Okay. So I feel as though that you went on a self journey. Okay. You started healing. When you started healing, you started realizing that you love this part of you. You started embracing this change of who you are because you learn how to start saying no to people. All right. No to relationships. You started building up your self-esteem. You started, you know, uh, uh, looking at things different, looking at relationship, not tolerating, saying no. Okay. You started setting boundaries and you said, my goodness, Wow, I feel good about this. But not only that, you had to continue on the path of healing who you are, of healing where you who you were. A lot of trauma, a tra a lot of traumatizing that you went through as a as a child up until adulthood. Uh, 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 I feel like I'm talking to someone that had a lot of abandonment issues. So you had to learn how to really love yourself in order to not feel neglected if somebody don't want you. You learned that I don't have to uh, make somebody want me. If you don't want me, then you go ahead. OK, so you had to learn that, hey, I love me. It's nothing wrong with me. If you don't want me, then, hey, that's your problem. Different strokes for different folks. Right. So you had to change your perspective. You had to learn uh, who you who you really, really were. OK, you did that now. Now, my beautiful souls. Now, my kings and queens and high priestess and, and empress and emperor and, 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 and all of y'all beautiful souls, you are, you are elevating. You have elevated. You have balanced yourself. And baby, you are powerful, Taurus. Very powerful. Yeah. You have the cracker here. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and a fortune, great fortune awaits you. Once again, love, joy is coming to you in all directions, okay? All directions. You're attracting new relationships. Uh, you're attracting new, new like-minded people, new friends, new, you know, just people on your energy level, okay? Uh, and... Um, it's coming at you all different directions. All right. Spirit guys, tell me more. This is beautiful because you have learned what balance is. And when you balance your life and when you learn that you don't have to settle. Okay. When you learn that because somebody rejects you, that, that you think it was, oh, I look this way. Oh, oh, this is this way because they didn't want me. No, they didn't want you because they see the light in you and they knew they know that you are too much for him or you are too much for her. You understand? Realize that when people are alive, lot of people that you come in contact with because you're operating from a high vibration uh Taurus you're operating from a high frequency is that even though somebody may come into your energy and they see you as oh yeah potential and then they realize when you begin to speak so much intelligence. When you begin to speak, you're not running no game on me. When you begin to speak, oh I'm on a different level and they see that then they run. He runs or she runs. So don't think because somebody rejects you, it's because of you. No, it's because of them because they can't, they cannot correlate. Uh, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to a lot of y'all tonight. They cannot correlate with you being who you are. Okay. And it's like this Taurus is saying, well, if you want to be on my level, you're going to have to do some work on yourself because I'm not lowering my standards. Yeah. Yeah, you're very powerful, very powerful, Taurus. You are very, very powerful. Yeah, proposal, okay? You're attracting, it says, a romantic or business opportunities is indicated. That's why I feel like a lot of you, you found balance. Some of you are about to, you know, you're about to be proposed or you're engaged now because you realize that you wasn't lowering your standard. Whoever it is that wants to come towards you, even business, even business, because just when you're in business, you got those low vibrations. You understand those low vibration entities that, you know, that's trying to scam you and stuff in your business. You have gained your, a different perspective and you know your stuff now. You know your stuff when it comes down to business, when it comes down to love, when it comes down, down to relationships, whatever it is. OK, business, love, family, friends, fake, fake, fake. Okay. Scam, scam, scam. So some of you are definitely 
getting ready to get married. You're getting ready to be proposed to. There's some balance coming into your life. There's some something strong indicated. A partnership is indicated that's coming into your life. You are attracting joy, peace. You're attracting all these things in your life, okay? Joy, harmony, balance, okay? And that's why, yeah, flowers, okay? Uh, yeah, powerful. You're very powerful. Be generous. Success, emotional fulfillment is all yours, okay? So it's a lot of beautiful things that is here. And you got the bottom of the deck is luck, okay? I believe in blessings. I believe blessings, okay? Stay optimistic. Um, if some of you are feeling like something's not going to come in, Spirit Guides is saying stay optimistic. It's coming, baby. It's coming. You are attracting it, and it's going to start coming to you in all directions, north, east, south, and west. It's because and Spirit Guides want you to embrace this new, this new path that you're on. A lot of you are on a new side self-discovery path that you have learned how to to love you and when you love you the person that you attract gonna love you how you love you and you're gonna love that person how they love them and that's what's that's where you're gonna meet in the middle you understand what I'm saying so it is all about you have to do the work you have to do the work on yourself because there's a lot of healing that we all have to do a lot of healing, a lot of healing we all have had to do. I know I have. I had a very, very, my journey of healing was very hard. I had to learn lessons over and over, okay? And so, Taurus, you are definitely a powerful soul, okay? And uh, Spirit Guides want you to continue on this beautiful new path for you and don't doubt it. OK, don't doubt it. It says I release the need to know all the answers. Don't doubt it. Just embrace this new this new you. OK, e embrace this new self discovery of who you are and who you're not going to allow in your energy and who you're not going to allow to come in and uh, think they're going to waste your energy. Oh, no, you have built your vibration up too high for someone to come into your life and waste your energy. All right. You're very intuitive, very intuitive. OK, you. Yeah, you have persevered. You've been through a lot. You've done a lot of healing, a lot of shadow work, a lot of karmic lessons, a lot of things you went through when you were a child. OK, you have healed from that and you're calling in a lot of beautiful things in your life. You are attracting you smelling like attraction. OK, friendship, relationships. OK, what? It, yeah. Friendship, relationship, like minded people are coming into your life. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there's someone that you have recently met. There's someone that has been in your life maybe within the last um, last six, six to two years. And this person, it was meant to be in your life, meant to be on this path with you. This friendship is unbelievable. I don't know who you are, but this friendship that you have with this masculine energy or this feminine energy is unbelievable. And you feel like this person was sent in your life for a reason. And I'm here to tell you, yes, they were. OK, so spirit guys is saying, don't doubt this because you deserve this. Don't doubt because uh, because you persevere so much. So don't doubt this beautiful connection that you're in. If you have not met this person yet, you're going to meet this person and this person is going to be sent to you and you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. You're going to know that this person is in my life for a reason. There's a reason they were meant for me. They were meant to come into my life. Okay. This, this person, uh, spirit guides is saying, be, be generous. Okay. Be generous Taurus. And also says success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Okay. So it's up to you. If you want this friendship, if you want this person in your life. Okay. That's a decision, but you're very powerful. Uh, and you're the co-creator co who succeeds in all that you do. Okay. The bottom of the deck is uh, fear. Fear is an illusion. Okay. Fear is an illusion. I need you to say, I am fearless. I am fearless. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. Uh, don't uh, be in fear. Be fearless. Uh, don't um, sabotage. Okay. And don't doubt this because spirit guides divine. You did all this healing for a reason, Taurus. All this healing was done for a reason, sweetheart, sir. Mm-hmm. It sure was. Yes, it was. It's time to play. 
Taurus, it is time to play dear. It is. You're working too hard and worrying about everything, okay? And like this card said right here, Taurus, you don't need to know all the, all the answers, sweetheart. You don't. You don't need to know all the answers. Just know that you're attracting this in because of the vibration that you are on. You understand? So Spirit Guides is saying you're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. Okay? Have fun. Don't just work. Have fun with this, this new person that's in your life. I feel like this person is coming into some of y'all's lives to help to break, you know, to, to break the ice and, and you to have fun and to enjoy life and enjoy the flowers while you're living because life is so short. And I feel like whoever this person is that you have recently been with within now to a year ago and maybe a year and a half, y'all, you're getting engaged, a lot of balance here. I feel like when you first met this person, you was all uptight. And this person had to bring the playfulness out of you because you were so used to being strong and being serious and just focusing your head on the money and on the job that you didn't allow yourself balancing your life where you can play as well and have fun. Let your hair down, go out, you know, and, and stop doubting and stop, stop, stop thinking that you have to know all the answers. Okay. And fear is an illusion of the mind. Okay. You are what you think. OK, you are what you think and what you think it becomes reality. So I need you anytime you have doubt, anytime you have fear, I need you to reprogram your mind. And I need you to tell yourself that I am fearless and I am not doubtful. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Absolutely. OK. Yeah, that part right there. Mm -hmm. Spirit guys. Yeah, thank you. It says embrace the magical moment. Yes. Embrace this magical moment. This person was brought in your life for a reason, or this person is about to show up in your life for a reason. I don't know who you are, but you don't have to claim this for me. I need you to bring it into your reality. I need you to walk in it. I need you to act as if you already have it. You need to speak it into your world. Okay. It says you are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled Taurus. It's a magical moment. This is your re reality, baby. Are you going to sabotage it? Or do you feel like you have to know all the answers? Just allow it to unfold as it should. Okay. Like spirit guys is saying, this is a lot of balance. This person coming to your life is bringing balance. You're going to balance each other out. If this person is already in your life, you know it. You know he or she is, is beautiful. You know this person was brought to you, brought to you for a reason, okay? I feel like this person loves to give you flowers, okay? You love flowers. You like must like pink carnations. Uh, you love flowers. And they, they like to buy you flowers. But this is a magical moment. Spirit guides want, and divine Archangel Michael wants you to play, wants you to have fun. Don't be so uptight because that's what it's about. When you're meeting someone, Taurus, it's about that childlike energy. OK, you don't have to be so uptight and serious when you get in a relationship. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be exciting, quirking, quirk, quirkness and just just being just yourself and being true to who you really are. OK, so some of you are already in that energy. Some of you spirit guys are saying, yeah, don't take it so serious. Have some fun with this person coming into your life and trust your angels. Your angels are all around you. Okay. Trust this, trust this process. It says, let go of expectations on how your dreams will come true. Okay. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. Okay. Just, just let go of your expectations. All right. And trust in the divine purpose. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but trust in the divine Trust it. OK, it says this experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on the path of growth. OK, this person that's coming into your life or that has already came into your life, Taurus, this person, you have grown a lot since this person came into your life or is vice versa. They have grown, you know, take the take what resonates and reverse the, the re reverse the roles. I don't know your life, but this person that has grown since you came into their life. OK. And uh, spirit guides are saying, trust your angels. Don't doubt it. You don't have to know all the answers. Just know that you are attracting. You're on the right path and you're attracting good energy. 
You're attracting good relationships. You're attracting good connection, good business connection. You're not, you're, you're on a level of no one's trying to scam you. They want the best for you. You're on a total different vibration. You know why? Because you are very powerful. You're very, very powerful within yourself. You have learned how to tap into your intuition. Okay. The, uh, you've learned how to tap into your intuition, your inner knowing, the higher self. Okay. Yeah. That part right there, that navigation system. Yeah. You're very tapped into that. All right. So you, you'll know, you'll know some lies when a lie come to you. You'll know somebody fake when they come, around, come towards you. Okay. But sometimes when you're on this path of singleness that you're looking for someone, spirit guides are saying, you're going to have to kiss a lot of frogs in order to get to the prince or the princess, baby. Sometimes that just happens, you know, until you get to that right one, you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. It's going to feel different. You're going to feel like, Hmm, Hmm. He was bought. She was bought in my life for a reason. Mm, what is up? Well, you're going to feel it. You're going to know it because they're coming to add value, add value in your life. You understand? They're not coming to subtract. They have a common denominator. The common denominator is they're, they're dating you with a purpose. The common denominator is that they see you in their future. The common denominator is that their focus and their their determination is to, to make sure they come in your life and not drain you. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but baby, you're going to go to bed tonight and you're going to have a good spirit. Okay. This, yeah, you're going to feel good in the morning, baby. You got the, uh, the, the night of swords and you got the temperance card. I feel like you got this Russian energy. You also had a temperance. You've been waiting patiently. Now this person is about to show up in your life. Okay. If he haven't hit, if he or she haven't showed up in your life yet, but you got some Russian energy, someone's coming towards you very, very fast. So get ready. This person may come out and come at you out of nowhere and you're going to be just minding your business. I'll be like, Hey, hello. Excuse me. Sexy. Miss handsome. Oh, you, I, I was looking at your pictures and you look, mm -mm. you can I, can, can we talk? I, I'm looking, I'm, I ain't got time for games. I ain't here to waste your time. I'm dating with a purpose. I want a long-term relationship. I want it to be marriage. Blah, blah, blah. That person gonna come at you like that. Okay? They ain't gonna come. They're gonna tell you what they want. Okay? They're gonna tell you what they want, uh, how they want, and what they... Yeah, that part right there. They're gonna answer all your questions without you even asking him or her. Okay? You ain't even gonna have to ask him or her. I feel like in the past, the spirit guys keep showing me the night of uh cups in the reverse you that dealt with a lot of lying people but this person coming in okay this person coming in this could be a gemini this person coming in to love you a lot of healing okay a lot of healing you and this person have done a lot of healing you know what you want okay yeah this person's uh, dating wanting you for a purpose they they see conquering a lot with you they say they have high standards for you very high standards. They, their expectations, they, they think very highly of you, empress or emperor. This person sees you as conquering a lot. Y'all can do a lot together. Y'all can build a lot together. You're going to have a lot, the house, the carriage, the parish or whatever it is. You're going to have it all. Okay. I feel like when you meet this person, things going to progress very fast. Okay. It's like, my goodness, you know, you're going to be dating this person in six months. He's going to put a promise ring on your, on your finger. They're going to, he's going to let you know that I'm here. And then <clears throat> close to the, 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 the year, that's when you're going get your engagement ring and the next thing you know you're gonna be married baby look at here this is sudden look at here sudden all three of these cards fell out queen of queen of pentacles queen of wands okay not only that you got the tower card here this person definitely sees you okay sees you as the one you're very beautiful very handsome however you put it in your life i don't know your life you're a queen you sit on your throne you're not a chaser baby you're not a chaser okay you know who you are okay you sit there you say you come to me baby this person's coming he or she is on their way get ready taurus yeah your life is about to change i don't know what card that was it fell but spirit god said i need to get it let's see what it is Oh, yeah. They've been watching you. They've been looking at you. Oh, yeah. From across the way. Yeah, they've been had their eye on you. Here they come. If you haven't met this person, some of you, this is someone recently. 
that you've been dealing with, maybe within the last six months, this is the person, you know, this person was brought in your life for a reason. If not, you're about to meet somebody that's going to come maybe from y'all share history together. You never was in a relationship, but you may know this person, you know, you may have something in common with somebody else. You may have a friend in common, but, uh, this is definitely going to cause for a lot of celebration. Okay. You may have, um, um, may have met this person at a gathering at a function at a party and y'all just spoke and nothing ever became of anything. But let me tell you something, honey, you're looking real good. You're looking like that queen and you're getting ready. Some sudden changes is about to happen in your life. These are some good changes. I see marriage. I see proposal, your business, some sudden changes. If this is not a relationship, this is a business partner that's coming in for some of you that has a business and your business. Yeah. That part right there is about to take off as well. Well, Taurus. Okay. So spirit guides are saying, uh, for some of you balance, make sure you have fun. Don't be so uptight with this relationship. And you've been waiting on this. You've been waiting on this Taurus. You've been waiting on this to pull up and you've been very picky. Okay. You've been patient about it. You've been waiting on it. You've been very picky. Okay. You don't have time for it. And baby, it is about to pull up on you. And when I tell you pull up, this person been watching you for a while, rushing energy, they're coming in, they're going to come. I feel like they're going to come in out of nowhere. Either you're going to meet this person at a store, at a grocery store, at somewhere. It's like, it's going to be like, it's like, they're going to be looking at you across the street, across the parking lot or something or whatever. Like, Hey, Hey, you know? Yeah. Communication is coming in. Communication. This can be from a, uh, uh, a air sign. This can be from a yeah. This could be a soulmate connection. It could be someone that y'all signed a soul contract together. All right. This can be a soulmate connection that's coming towards you. Could be a um, um, air sign. Also a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, I see a little bit of every sign is in here, so it's all energy. Okay all energy. You're not going to be defensive because it's going to feel right. But spirit guys are saying, don't, you know, stop thinking you got to know the answers, you know, to, uh, to everything. Okay. This person is coming in to bring balance in your life. Okay. This person is coming to add value. Okay. Y'all are going to add value. They're going to work very hard, pay great details to you about you. Okay. Uh, yeah, that part right there. Mm, my goodness. Spirit guys, any other message for Taurus? Any other message? Let's see. Any other message for Taurus? There we go. Yep. Happiness. Happiness. Balance. Happiness. Yep. Absolutely. This person coming into your life to bring back, to bring uh, happiness, 10 of cups to fulfill all your cups. Yeah. This is going to be stable. This is going to be all across the board. I don't know who you are, but get ready because he's coming. And look, you got your chin up in your head, your, your chin up, chest out, baby. You ready to take this leap of faith. If some of you haven't already started talking to this person, when this person come in, you're going to say, yep, yeah, I'm going to be a fool and I'm going for this one because it feels right. It absolutely, see, you don't, you don't have no, you're not a, you're not going to be at a crossroad about it because you're going to listen to your intuition. You're going to know that this person is the one for you. So yeah, that part right there, there it is. Ace of cups, baby. This person's coming in to overflow you with joy. Look at here. Invest largely into your life. Look at here. Success, success, success. Y'all going to have so much together. It took some time. Okay. It's been a long time, but let me tell you something. Yeah. Your future. Yeah. Your future with this person is beautiful, beautiful and true, beautiful and true, baby. Yes. Look at here. This person is the real deal and you going to know it, but you attract this because you elevated your vibration and you elevated your energy and you worked on yourself and you set boundaries and you know what you wanted in order to get it. You had to change your inner self and stop letting people run over you. <laughs> I'm positive thoughts and energy Taurus. My goodness. Congratulations. Excuse me. Congratulations. Until next time.